What's up guys? Ted from Nerd Immersion here. Another week's gone by and it's time for another D&D Weekly Update. Just a heads up, there's not a ton of news this week, mostly because of PAX and the D&D crew is there. Acquisitions Inc. was actually last night, Friday night. Unfortunately, this video is coming out on a Saturday because I was traveling for work and didn't get a chance to film it till right now. So, there's a little bit of news here and there. Maybe I'll try to pull in some community stuff if I can, but stay tuned. Alright, so like I said, not a ton of news, but I do have some things for you. One, just kind of a thing, if you're at PAX, I would recommend that you, if I find it here, go find the D&D uh, table, because this is from Nathan Stewart saying that they do have a lot of swag, and as you can clearly see, there are patches, there are stickers, pens, water bottles, I don't know how much of this stuff is just free swag, I think I remember the patches are, are free, and there's stickers, there's DM stickers that say, let, can I t let me tell you a story, things like that. Um, like I said, Acquisitions Inc. did their stream last night. I think you can still find that on their Twitch channel. I checked the D&D channel and I didn't see it. But um, that's a good segue here to just make sure you guys keep an eye on the D&D channel. You never know. It looks like there hasn't been any major updates for a while on here, but they do have all of their previous streams. They've gone through and played all the pre-written campaigns. Here's Elemental Evil. This was just some regular old Neverwinter stuff. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to check this out because this is where the Extra Life stream that they're going to be doing. So be sure to keep an eye on that. Um, and actually, here's an Acquisitions Inc. This is, yeah, actually this was just updated. So you can check out um, all the previous Acquisition Inc. videos here. So be sure to keep an, a lookout on that. Um... This was posted on Monday on the official D&D uh, Facebook page, and it's getting to sort of what we saw with the releases of all the other major books is they start doing little snippets from the books with previews of whether it's a class or, in this case, it's a magic item. So this is the Wand of Viscous Globs. It is a rare wand, requires attunement. Crafted by the Drow, Slim Black Wand has seven charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges to call a small, uh, cause a small blob of viscous material to launch from the tip at one creature within 60 feet. Make a ranged spell attack against the target with a bonus equal to your spellcasting mod or your intelligence modifier if you don't have a spellcasting mod, plus your proficiency bonus. On a hit, the glob expands and dries on the target, which is restrained for one hour. After that, the viscous material cracks and falls away. Applying a pint or more of alcohol to the restrained creature dissolves the glob instantly, as does the application of oil of etherealness or universal solvent. The glob also dissolves instantly if exposed to sunlight. No other non-magical process can remove the viscous material until it deteriorates on its own. The wand regains 1d6 plus 1 charges daily at midnight. If you expend the wand's last charge, roll a d20 on a 1, the wand melts away into a harmless slime and is destroyed. One of viscous globs is destroyed if exposed to sunlight for one hour without interruption. Um, just a cool little wand has a lot of obviously underdark flavor, but one of my favorite things about it is it flat out tells you that you can just use it if you don't have a spellcasting mod. So if you're not a spellcaster, you're a you know a fighter and you pick this up. Granted, your fighter intelligence mod probably is not going to be that great. You could still use it, and it's mechanically designed to do that. So. That's the Wand of Viscous Globs. If there's more updates and, and snippets from Rage of Demons, uh, I'll have them here on the weekly update. But moving on, quick reminder that Rage of Demons uh, We Love Fine t-shirt design contest is still ongoing. Just a reminder, all submissions need to be in by September 8th. So if you're hoping to be a part of that, make sure you submit before the 8th of September. There was an article, um, a D&D alumni article. If you're not familiar with these articles, it's on the main D&D website, and it's all about a character or a part of the world or something like that that was in old editions of D&D, and they sort of talk about the update of that character through the ages. And obviously, with Out of the Abyss coming out, they have this whole once a week we're going to post something about one of the the demon lords and this week it's grassed and they have an article just detailing way back from grass's origin back in ad and d debuted in 1982 in the lost caverns of so so can't i don't know one of gary gygax's adventures um and then soon appeared in the monster manual 2 in 1983 and then you see some of the original 
really old school D and D black and white art, and then kind of Book of Vile Darkness for three point five, the monster, um, and which if you don't know from three point five was basically all about demons and devils. And there was also the Book of Exalted Deeds, which is kind of the other side of that. Um, Manual of the Plains in fourth edition, and will obviously be outlined in. Rage of Demons here for 5th edition, and uh, there's actually an article here, we'll jump here, um, just the kind of overview that they've been posting on their Tumblr, which I would recommend following the Dungeons & Dragons Tumblr if you have one, because they do post things here that they don't post anywhere else, like all of these kind of field guide to the different demons and the concept art behind them, they don't post those on any of their other social media, so this is definitely a reason to come check this out. Um, but his type of madness, extreme self-indulgence leading to ruin, and it manifests in narcissism, megalomania, uh, I never even heard of that, messianic uh, complex, obsessive infatuation with someone or something, hedonism, messiah. So, um, and then a couple of questions, there were every, also this is something else kind of fun, every week when they first post the first image of, um, one of the demon lords they post three kind of q a questions and when they post the actual kind of field guide um they answer the three questions so that's a pretty cool little uh, piece of information and this article also released on monday and this is a pretty awesome article i think it's all about how to add like you have an ongoing campaign of a bunch of people you've been playing with for maybe a little while maybe for a long time and you're going to add somebody new to the group what's the best way to go about this and i mean everybody will have their own methods of doing this but this article actually does a pretty good job um so they talk about it they said help the new guy aka yuguen which is if you know anything about gary gygax that's like the go-to adventurer name is just take it and spin it around backwards so yuguen is new guy backwards um but they discuss this concept of having a character raising session and they say it's akin to a barn raising and essentially what they do is the group sort of helps to raise this character by starting off tell me about you know your introduction to D and and your kind of rpg biography and get everybody on the same page how much experience does everybody have that kind of thing and then you know tell me about your character and what's happened so far and what's going on and then let's propose some questions to the group so the dm says is there an obvious fit between a race and class that you one would like to play and any imbalances that need to be addressed in the adventuring party's capabilities the immediate answer came in the form of the class or the party that said we need more magic and from you one his response was i want to cast spells well in that situation that works out perfectly because the party needs more magic and he wants to be a spellcaster and then they start kind of going through asking, having the group provide feedback. What do they think would be the best? What kind of spellcaster? And sort of make it a group experience. And that kind of endears the new player to the group. You know, well, you're new. Maybe you don't want to have a ton of spells. So maybe you don't want to be a wizard. Maybe a warlock fits more of the flavor you're looking for. Less spells overall to know. But it kind of has different connotations where the magic comes from. Um, and they kind of go over that. Uh, so he chose to be a human. Um, then they started working on backgrounds. After an hour of working together, the group successfully laid down a really solid first level character foundation. We then helped layer in it on additional details for second, third, and fourth levels, ending up with a profile that fit both Yuguen's desired playstyle and the group's need for improved fourth level magic. As huge added benefit, we'd spent time getting to know each other even before the dice started to fly. So this i may we're in the process of setting up an online campaign that we're going to be streaming or at the very least recording and posting the videos up on youtube and we might do something to this we have some people that haven't really played D, &D before and some people that have for a while so i might kind of in our we're going to film the character creation so we're probably going to start with some introductions and just get everybody to get to know each other um talk about your your history with D, &D and and things like that to kind of get everybody explaining what they're going to do before we actually kind of roll into the actual character creation part of the game so it's just a pretty neat little concept uh and i don't think i had any sage advice i was going to see if there's any great sage advice stuff but this was actually released this morning and this is the rage of demons launch trailer so i'm going to play this for you guys
Some doors can be closed. Some demons can't be slain. Complete Rage of Demons experience this fall. Start your descent with Sword Coast Legends. So if you guys didn't see that, they're talking about there will be a Neverwinter update that's going to be an Underdark-themed update, as well as new minis by WizKids and obviously Out of the Abyss, the actual book. So... That's it for this week, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you guys at PAX? Let me know what the experience is like out there. I'd love to I'd love to hear from some people that are out there. And I guess I'll end with a funny picture from Nathan Stewart. Uh, <laughs> d and D20 Jesus here um, that he saw at PAX last night. So anyway, guys, hope you're having a great week. If you're at PAX, have fun. Definitely get experience as much as you can. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out of there. Uh, and again, there'll be another update next week, and hopefully, maybe by the end of next week, we'll at least have a time frame when we're going to be able to start this D&D thing. I'm trying to get everybody uh, situated who's all going to play and, and you know get Roll20 up and running the way I want it to. Anyway, see you next time, guys.